Before we get started with today's show, I would like to thank all of our four patrons, Dave. You managed to get four for keeping the lights running. By becoming a patron, you will have access to behind the scenes bloopers, which nobody else will get to see. And you will obviously help us keep doing that which we enjoy. So... BMW has kept their promise and unveiled their own made custom cruiser this weekend. Against the backdrop of beautiful Lake Como in Italy, a bunch of select lucky journalists were invited to lay their eyes and open their ears to BMW's latest creation. And I'm sitting here with Dave in a garage. Get your motorbike news in a pleasant way. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Welcome back to Long Way Home everyone. Lovely to see your smiling faces in the garage today after all that riding in the rain last week. Today we are just going to cover one story which is making waves around the internet. Back in 2004, BMW's R1200C, the company's only cruiser, was killed off by BMW Probably because the 1200cc boxer engine it was using surely wasn't going to turn any heads with cruiser enthusiasts, which were used to much larger 1500cc and up engines. At that time, BMW stated that they were not turning away from cruisers and would reinterpret this theme quite differently sometime or another. Last December, the model created by the Japanese customizers Custom Works Zone was presented at the Yokohama Hot Rod Show on the basis of a new BMW 1800cc boxer prototype engine. The Departed won the biggest accolade of the event, the Best of Show Motorcycle Award, thrilling motorcycle fans with its classic forms, modern production techniques and all manner of manual art and craft in the details. The next round was the interpretation by Revival Cycles. The customizers from Austin, Texas created a spectacular bike with their Revival Birdcage model, an ideal presentation platform for the big boxer engine. The specially developed titanium frame featured an unobstructed view of the engine and drive from all angles. Now for the third interpretation of this large capacity boxer engine, BMW has presented their own concept R18, that's what it's called. It obviously features the big 1800cc boxer engine, a cradle frame, an exposed shaft drive and a drop shaped fuel tank. Its black paintwork and hand applied contrast lines are typically design icons of BMW Motorrad classics. The large spoked rims which are 24 inches in the front and 18 inches in the rear provide a particular stance and balance around that hulking big bore engine. The head of BMW Motorrad Design stated that the bike was designed so that when you get off it, you don't just put it in the garage and walk away. You turn around again and give it a final parting glance. I love you, sugar. The heart of the BMW Motorrad Concept R18 is obviously the big boxer, a newly designed two-cylinder 1800cc flat twin, a layout synonymous with BMW and its history. Its outward appearance is consciously reminiscent of the engines that BMW Motorrad used to build up until the end of the 1960s, but with a considerably larger displacement and modern air oil cooling. What about water cooling? Is that not modern? The graphics of the headlamp design are also reminiscent of the 1950s. The classic U-shape of the original glass cover components are now interpreted as LED lamp elements. A new bike has got LED headlights in 2019. Whoop -de -doo. We have used the Concept R18 to demonstrate what an update of a 1960s boxer could look like today as a purist custom bike, Explain the head of BMW Motorrad design, obviously with a German accent. The Concept R18 is being fed fuel by means of two carburetors instead of fuel injectors. The concept is also devoid of any electronics. It means without, Dave. Devoid is without. It does not. Read a book, man. Apart from a starter motor and lights, but any production motorcycles that will use this engine will likely be fuel injected and come with modern electronics such as engine modes and traction control and more LED lights and 
who knows what else. BMW confirmed that this new R18 monster of an engine will power a new line of models. A bagger cruiser prototype sporting the new boxer engine has already been spotted on German highways in March of this year and it seems pretty complete. It's expected to be joined by a full-on tourer and a cruiser model. Just like BMW did with the new 1250 engine upgrade, they will probably reveal the big box cruiser and any other models using this engine later this year sometime in September ahead of the Eichma show in November, where we all can go and lay our greasy hands on them. Now imagine if they put this engine in a GS for example. Mm. Let us know in the comments below what bike you would love to see being powered by BMW's new monster engine. Let's see what crazy ideas we get. Well, that's the show everybody. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.